So getting to the lab testing now. So we do our plan checks first, and then normally after that, we'll, we'll go to our lab testing. If we no, don't notice anything too major within the plant or something, you know, so there might be some that we need to get to eventually, but typically after we're done with checks, we'll, we'll come do the lab tests. And this is our pH meter right now that I'm, that I'm calibrating. We do this on a daily just to ensure that it's giving us proper pH readings. This unit actually does pH and conductivity with this probe here. Um, typically we don't calibrate the conductivity probe daily. We'll do it maybe once a week or twice a week sort of deal, just, just to ensure it's reading properly. But for the pH, we like to calibrate daily. So this is um, this is a four a pH of four. It's called a buffer solution. We use it for calibrating. It gives us a pH of four. This is also a buffer solution here as well. Again, we use it for calibration of the pH probe. This gives us a buffer of seven, and this is another buffer here. This gives us a pH of ten. Typically, I only like to do the two point calibration. If we're testing pH on a high end, I might do the seven and the 10 as a two point, but I find that the 10 buffer solution is a bit more unstable and it does tend to wear down a lot faster than the seven and the four solutions. So I'll do a two point calibration today. So you notice it's a four and 7.01. That's because it's a little bit warmer today. So it'll give us a little bit of a higher pH. And then all these numbers here, we stored it on our, uh, calibration page here just to track uh, just to ensure that we're calibrating our instruments on a regular basis and if anybody has like health ever questions anything then they'll know like hey you guys have been doing your calibrations i do see it on your sheet so i do trust your instruments for the ph and the conductivity i like to have them actually running inside in the tap as they're uh, as they are eating. Okay, so this is our ultraviolet transmittance um, tester, I guess. It, we call it the UVT for short. Um, so basically, it's uh, going to tell us how much ultraviolet light uh, can go through the water. Um, that's one unit when we we're doing our walk around that we didn't check was the the ultraviolet light itself. So basically we use that for um, disinfection and you want uh, you want like uh, a higher number for UVT so that you can pro get proper disinfection in your water or if you have poor treatment, poor water quality, your uh, ultraviolet isn't going to transmit to each organism and it's not going to inactivate the organism. Um, so that's what this thing will it, it'll do a manual test for us. So, I'm just calibrating the unit right now. This is actually distilled water. It gives us 100% UVT, meaning that there's no blockages. The ultraviolet light will get to each and every organism regardless because there's nothing blocking, blocking the light to shine on the organism itself. So that's the calibration. Yeah, basically, like I said, when we first start the unit, we're, we're gonna calibrate it using distilled water, which is free of any, uh, any blockages, any organisms that might be in there. And like I said, you, sh you should get the, uh, you get 100% with distilled water. So there's, it's free and clear. Um, when you do the, uh, the treated water or any other, um, any other waters that you might be testing for, where it's gonna be much lower, like obviously they're all water will be right around 40, 50%, that sort of thing, depending on the quality. Um, and then, like I said here, the treated water, I'll do this test again. You know, 97.6 actually this time. So yeah, that's kind of, uh, like I said, how much ultraviolet light is going through your water. And like I said, you want it higher or close to 100% when it gets, comes to treated water, because obviously you don't want to, you don't want any organisms or any sort of thing going through, uh, into the system.